uh, doing the other semifinal game of Corona Cup, our inaugural uh, online tournament uh, that 512 is doing. And uh, we did the yesterday's game with uh, Brian and Brandon. If you didn't watch that game, uh, you should Brian go watch it because it was awesome. And uh, tonight we've got Cameron and Andrew, uh, the other two uh, top four players uh, from the uh, Corona Cup. And whoever wins this game is going to go play uh, the other winner of the other game in the finals next week. So, Which was, I believe, Brandon, right? Well, it was. Spoiler alert, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a great oh. game. It was an awesome game. So, uh, you know, definitely go watch it. You can uh, learn a lot about X-Wing watching Brian and Brandon, who are both wonderful players and just good guys. And um, mm -hmm. so you can learn a lot from that game. And, and joining me tonight, we got Kevin Rosner. Kevin, why don't you uh, introduce yourself here? Hello. Hi, I'm Kevin. I've commentated a couple of these. I'm also known as Dr. Ham. Yeah, I'm really glad to have you. Kevin. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Delighted. It's always a pleasure to be commentating with you, Charles. I appreciate that, man. And I, this is, man, I am, I'm expecting a lot of blood from this game. Cause yeah. Yeah, you know, we got we got a double ace with some blockers on one side and a Sloan Swarm on the other. And it's been a hot minute since I've seen a Sloan Swarm in action, so I'm mm -hmm. excited. So uh, interesting. You... Yeah, go oh, ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I, I was just going to say, interestingly, Cameron has a one-point bid over Andrew's full 200. So if I were in Cameron's shoes, I would take the initiative to make sure my TIE Fighters can block. Um, I don't know if he... Why don't, we, why don't we start off with the list? You want to take sure. one of the lists and just kind of walk through it, and I'll take the other ones. So whichever ones you think is cooler, why don't you... You talk about oh, I'll, that I'll, I was just talking about how much I'm excited for this Lone Swarm, <laughs> so I will gladly take that. So you've got, you've got of course, five basic TIE Fighters, which are there specifically for Admiral Sloan on the rear Admiral Sheeran. Um, Chirpy, of course, is you know converting eyeballs to crits as long as they are in the correct half that you have reinforced your Decimator. So, you know, just a good Initiative 5 Decimator. But Admiral Sloan says after another friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends if it is destroyed the attacker gains two stress tokens while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 performs an attack against a stressed ship it may reroll one attack die so it's a lovely control plus um uh synergy all in one card um the only problem you often run into is what platform to put her on and of right. course, he's paired that with Ruthless while you perform an attack. You may choose another friendly ship at range 0 to 1 of the defender. If you do, that ship suffers 1 damage, and you may change one of your die results to a hit. And of course, that's just to try and make his own TIE Fighters go down faster to start fueling Admiral Sloan. Yes. Um, I love it. I, like, <laughs> it's always terrifying, especially if like two TIE Fighters pop in one round and suddenly you've got four stress on one ship or two stress on two ships. Neither of those options are good. Right. All right, so I'll talk about Andrew's list. Um, Andrew's flying Vader with hate and FCS. Um, he's flying a Delta pilot uh, defender, so just the, the generic I-1 uh, defender, who is – actually, no, I'm sorry. I got my list mixed up. That's Ryad. That's with the F Ryan. Yeah, she's, she's my eh, – she's probably my favorite pilot from 1.0, honestly. I loved her ability. So her ability is that she can turn any, you know, uh, two through five maneuver on her dial, which are blue and white into a K-turn. It's of fantastic. Yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah, any of the straights. So she can do a 2 to 5 K-turn, right? Um, which is fantastic. Uh, the least predictable defender there is in all of X-Wing. And then he's got two Academy pilots, and he's at a full 200 points. So 
um, Cameron has the one point bid. And as you and I were just talking about a few minutes ago, Kevin, I, I fully expect Cameron to give uh, it keep initiative for himself. Yeah, uh, and judging by the fact that it seems like he set his tie fighters up first, it seems he did take the initiative because yeah, mm -hmm. his his ties are also blockers. Um, he doesn't want to have one of those academies on Andrew's side gum up his whole. Sp right, and there's two reasons I think why the one point bid which isn't normally a game changer, but in this case, I think it is um, for two reasons. Uh, firstly, obviously Cameron can gum up the works. His, his academies moved before Andrew. So I'm sure Andrew had a strategy in this tournament of using his academies as blockers, um, but they won't be if Cameron uh, keeps initiative. But the other thing is Sloan. Uh, right, so uh, when the defender or Vader kills a Tie Fighter, and the and you know one of them gets stressed, and then Sloan, you know all those ships are going to be able to shoot with mods. So I, I think it's going to be very important the the bid in this tournament or this game, I should say. Yeah, pretty much the only reason that Cameron might wish he didn't have initiative is if one of uh, Andrew's ties kills one of his ties mm -hmm. and then suddenly that's that's in the final shots of the round and, and like he can't shoot modified dice against those academies but those aren't going to be cameron's main targets in this anyway um personally i feel like uh cameron's going to i it, honestly i would on to say Ryad might be his first target because the blues on the defender are slightly worse, I would say. Mm -hmm. And just make, especially denying that free evade action. If you can get a stress on on Ryad, um, you're not suddenly not your token stacking. You're just living and dying on your dice. Right. But yeah. Um, I, you know what, um, I, I'm really excited to see how this goes because um, personally, like looking at, you know, Sloan is something that aces fear, but at the same time, it is a piece that um, you have something of a control over, you know, you can, you can, uh, choose to not shoot at the TIE Fighters and, and maybe that's where Andrew's thinking. Mm -hmm. But of course it's Cameron's goal to make sure those TIE Fighters get shot. And if fa all else fails, Ruthless. Right. Actually, no. Uh, Ruthless would not proc Admiral Sloan, so. Mm. Because the ship has to be defending. Fair. Fair. So, from Andrew's point of view, so I know you're enamored with Cameron's list. It's a neat list, and, and we haven't seen anything like it, really, uh, competitively. Um, you know, we've had a couple of players, I think, mess with Sloan, but not really take it to the point where it, it did super good in a tournament. That's why I think this is certainly really not since the first points update, I think. Right. Well, you know. From my point of view, I think the obvious thing is Andrew needs to uh, keep his TIE Fighters alive. He's playing around clouds, which is a really good way of doing that. Um, and I think clearly he needs to try to kill the Decimator before he starts chewing up TIE Fighters. Sure, absolutely. The, the, um, and, and, you know, if he can manage to get a good, at, uh, Andrew's got a really good deployment here where I feel like he's got a good chance of getting his Red Academy back to a good blocking position mm -hmm. on Rack. Mm -hmm. um, and I wonder if that's what he's thinking is just using the obstacles along that, you know, out the, the, along that board edge to cover him as he kind of shoots up along all well, the way up to... I 100% uh, agree with you. That mustache asteroid is in a fantastic spot. Oh yeah, 
it's it's great and, and the gas cloud as well the combination of those two is gonna make it very difficult for cameron to actually get guns on riad and mm -hmm. uh, that academy um but uh, there's, so it, there's nothing stopping cameron though from doing a one hard barrel roll with all three of those tie fighters true but at that point you are opening yourself up to a complete flank from vader mm -hmm. and this is kind of this is another thing I really like about what Andrew has done for his deployment is he's already created a choice for Cameron to make. Mm -hmm. Either one of these aces he goes after, he's going to, you know, it's going to be a, um, it's going to be opening himself up to a flank from the other one. Right. Do you think Andrew was trying to bait with Vader a little bit? No, I feel like with, with, um, Oh, you mean at deployment? Um, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I, I think he's in a good position now. He can do four straight if he wants to. Yeah, he could four straight. He could... Um, well, they don't have a one hard on the dial, but he could two hard. Um, oh, if he two hards, then he's going to die, I think. You think so? Yeah. See, I could, I could see him doing a two hard to the right and then a barrel roll backwards. And then he's, you know approximately where he started as mm. far as, you know, one turn ago, um, but now pointed a different way. And he's, again, forcing that choice. Um, I, I, honestly, I could also see him just doing, like, a two straight and barrel roll left. You know, just, mm -hmm. just stall out Vader's engagement until Cameron commits one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Speaking of... Um, I'm, you know, they're assigning their dials, and uh, they, it looks like they did go for the hour fifty. They did. They went for the straight seventy-five, which is yep. fine. We we've actually changed the rules in the upcoming Corona Cup Two Electric Boogaloo tournament, so you can do either one. I saw uh, that. Yeah, I mean, I I've noticed some players doing that, even the players that we stream sometimes. So we just said, you know what, do what do what you want. Um, uh, I liked the 60 plus two because I think it made more list archetypes viable in the tournament. Cause, uh, one of the things that we had going on, it was very obvious with the, the games I've been streaming is even when you're an experienced X-Wing player, if you're not a very experienced X-Wing in TTS player, there were all kinds of issues. Sometimes people wouldn't stop the clock, all that kind of stuff. So it just gave oh, sure. us, it, 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 it made sure that we had. Uh, a good amount of turns in a game. But yep. I know some people, for whatever reason, they're just like, Let, I just want to do the straight 75, like the physical game. Or, you know, maybe they're short on time or whatever it is. And that's fine. You know, knock yourself yeah. out. Yeah. This tournament's always been about more about, hey, let's keep the community going. Let's have fun while we can't go play in our friendly local. We're, we're all bored at home, but we want to play X Wing. That's right. Um, so I wonder which way Cameron's going to go. Looks like they're all set for round two. Um, I think I'm, he's going to go straight. You think straight? Uh, th those outside ones banking in makes sense. Yeah, that's a bump. That's unfortunate. Um, it's actually very unfortunate because it means it those those ties that might have to do, start doing some wonky thing. Ordinarily, if you were sitting, if you were at a table and you had that bump happen, you could mm -hmm. do, you know, on the following turn, you could use a little bit of template wiggle room. Like they're, they're not touching by much. You mm -hmm. could separate them with template wiggle room, but. I'm surprised by these three banks. I don't think they're, it's wrong. I just am surprised by it. I'm surprised that the inside TIE Fighters did the three banks, but not, not maybe what he's hoping to do is catch the red academy time and or if vader decides to do that too hard turn or go straight um actually yeah if vader goes straight he's sitting in the guns of at least two tie fighters already yeah he is um so i i, I don't disagree with that it's um you know cameron is in the position of he doesn't really care too much about his TIE fighters flying over obstacles and losing their actions. They just become more tempting targets for Sloan. Right. 
Now, I am surprised by this too hard turn from that academy tie. From, uh, from Me too. An- Andrew's academy. Taking three shots. And very surprised by the three turn riot. Yeah. yeah. I was I would have I would have expected Riad to do perhaps a four or five straight followed by a boost right, maybe. Oh, someone in chat saying their Ontario open for TTS is doing a, a hard twelve round timer, which sucks for swarms. And yeah, I could absolutely oh, see that. That's ter- that's terrible. I um one of the reasons I, I fell out of playing on Vassal back in 1.0 was the the standard then was to do a 19 round timer and even that felt short. Um, so Vader Vader did indeed do a one bank in, not a two turn, but he did turn in uh and take looks like he's taking a target lock on a time tie- Well, this is some good range control here, right? Like it certainly is. You know, uh <laughs> Oh, even better. Yeah, that I like that barrel roll. I really do. That's um that puts him in a pretty good spot for next turn, honestly. And it gets him out of uh it makes it so the only person who's in range is that one academy tie. Yeah, so I really cool. like that barrel roll. I don't know if that this shot will get anything done, but it was a good move by him by Andrew. Right. Well, if it gets into burn of focus, it's also something. That was a terrible roll. They're trying to discuss because that that die is like somehow cocked, but if you hover over it, it does still say I. So it's three eyes. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, he spent his focus. And he should turn one to a crit. Yeah, but Cameron has now rolled three evades on his five dice, and he's good. <laughs> There's nothing scarier than an academy pilot that YOLOs. I'm just saying. I mean, when you're looking at five evade dice, you're pretty confident that you can get get something done there. Yeah. And you should be. So it looks like Chirpy taking a pot shot at that academy. Mm-hmm. I... I Chirpy was a nickname I heard for Shirano back in 1.0, and that's just stuck with me ever since. Hit crit and two evades. So they're they're exchanging some pot shots here. What I'm especially worried about for Andrew is mm-hmm. what it's going to look like next turn. I, Those that's, that's Cameron's Tie Fighters are in prime blocking position. Well, there's not going to be any damage this turn. You know, honestly, I I, I, I feel like Cameron was probably hoping to blank out here, you know? Hmm. If, if he lands early stress, especially if Vader had managed to kill that TIE fighter, mm-hmm. and when he's already stressed and Vader suddenly has three stress on him, that's that's a juicy target. Right. Well, that's a good roll. I assume that was a Vader, so maybe I'm wrong. Uh, I think that was the the academy. Yeah, it was that was the uh, blue academy on Cameron's side, side shooting at red academy on uh, on uh, Andrew's side there. And no one has spent a focus on defense yet. No. Uh, it, I believe Riad spent a focus on attack. She did. She changed. Uh, she rolled hit eyeball blank and changed the eyeball to a hit for two. Got it. And then he rolled two evades. I mean, Riot's this got was... the evade and the cloud, so we're fine. Yeah. And uh, Riot just rolls two naturally, too. Why not? <laughs> she, she is high maintenance, but she's worth it. 
Oh yeah, Riot is is an excellent. W- was not my favorite pilot from 1.0, but my favorite pilot from 1.0 in, in as far as the defenders go was uh Rex. He wasn't good, but I really wanted to make him work, okay? Mhm. And that's probably the last shot that that academy's going to take and it weathered the storm. Looks like Cameron took a pot shot down at. Uh, oh, did did he uh, Andrew evade on that red account? So looks like it. No, I, I think he focused, and because he had an eyeball, he converted it to two evades, and he was fine. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. There was a lot of dice rolled. but There's a lot of dice being rolled this turn <laughs> and a whole lot of nothing happening. Um, yeah, that was all the shots of the round and there is no damage on anyone. I'm actually amazed that no one... That, there's not even just like one hit that just snuck in somewhere, you know? But... Like I was saying earlier, Cameron is now kind of in prime blocking position. Oh, he is. He can even block up uh, Ryad. Oh, absolutely. Now, Ryad could... Oh, no, the three hard turn would clip that gas cloud. Ryad yeah. could do like a, a, a one hard turn, maybe, or one bank, because that is on their dial. But yeah, I would... I would. Well, she also has boost on her dial, which people forget about. I... I think if he's going to bug out, he's going to do a left too hard. I think that. Yeah, him. that would be the bug out move. Um, well, and then she since he's already turn, right? and then she's out of the scrum. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Um, I would honestly expect that one bank left from Riad because that's going to be something that um, he can. Uh, Andrew can take his uh, Red Academy and well. Okay, never mind. He's he doesn't have initiative, but it's going to be very it's going to be harder for uh, Cameron to block that one bank to the left. I feel. Um, I mean, I, I guess Brown Academy Pilot Four could do like a three straight and possibly yeah. block it. Yeah, that would be close though. Well, I mean, it say say Riot did a five straight. I mean, then her reward is to get shot by um, the other two TIE fighters. I, I, I feel like she's got to bug out this turn. It's not what you, you want to so? do, but I think it's what you have to do. What I'm not sure is Vader. What he's gonna do? I need to look at what the blues are on the. Activates. Well, the one bank is blue, but that does him no good because in the in the bad old days, the one bank was white. Uh, the one bank ble- being blue is, is, was kind of a big deal. Oh, for sure. Well, in, in 1.0, the one bank was the only one speed maneuver they had, right? Uh, he's got a one straight, but it's white, so it's not... One no, I, I mean in, in 1.0. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the advanced has a, has a pretty decent slew of blues here and there's there's the three straights so yeah mm-hmm. and, and looking at it yeah that one bank is absolutely blocked you're right um i don't know riot could just turn away i suppose yeah i feel like cameron is hedging his best bets on blocking vader here or at least putting vader in a really bad spot vader is gonna don't... be in a bad spot there's he doesn't have afterburners the no. fastest blue he's got is a three straight. And a three straight would still put him in all three of those arcs. Mm-hmm. If not, uh, and rack, it would not be blocked. Moves. Yeah, it's going to be rough. Actually, actually, correction, all five of those arcs, because those back TIE fighters are also... What a good move. Oh, um, wow. That's impressive and nicely played by Andrew. 
So he, he should be able to get some damage on, on the decimator this turn. Absolutely. If assuming he didn't block the decimator, which is a distinct possibility. Um uh, I think Cameron, Cameron could not have done a one straight because that would clip that asteroid. Right. He did a one bank, I bet. I think you're right. So the five straight doesn't look like the awful move that I thought it was. Huh. That's and it does not bump that TIE fighter by a hair. Oh, and and because it's Riot, he turned it into a K turn. Absolutely, yeah. Wow. There's the one bank, which okay, yeah, mm -hmm. that clears. That lands just yeah. fine. Yeah, the only problem with, with Cameron's uh, rack build here is that there's no good way to do a um, free reinforce. You've just got to spend your action to, to reinforce and hope that the rest of the, your, what you're doing is enough. Um, so, so you saw Andrew, he brought up his actions and then he hesitated. I'll tell you why. Okay. Uh, as someone who played Vader at Worlds, um, People forget about the link action. So Vader's got a link focus to uh, barrel roll. Yeah. That lets him, you know, chew through his force slower. Um, so if you're going to target lock focus and and link to a barrel roll, you've got to target lock first. Absolutely. Absolutely. So and yeah, that, and that is that is he did that uh, that target lock into a link focus barrel roll uh, last mm -hmm. turn actually. Um, though I expect this turn, he will not do that so as to not get grant the free rerolls. Right. Um, I don't think he's barrel rolling, so I think he, you I think don't think he so. Looked, no, he's he's not. Oh wow! Yo, no, you're right. He just target locked and focused. I think he should be burn the target lock, but uh, I think he burned a force and then yeah, it looks like he crit. burned a force and then converted another to another crit is holding his focus i mean the thing is rack will take two shields yep and this is where he probably uses ruthless i would imagine absolutely he didn't use ruthless huh he did not I'm uh, actually very surprised. Me too. You know, I'm I'm hoping that it's not because he just rushed through the door because uh, right, you know, coming out of work and has is just forgotten. I really hope that's not the case and mm -hmm. that he just chose not to for. And I've never played with ruthless. I, I don't know what the strategy is involved. If it were me, I would just be like, yeah, I want my ships to die. Go on. <laughs> well, I mean, especially with Sloan, right? Absolutely. Like, I, I, you know, I would ruthless a ship. So one of the TIE fighters has taken damage, which is a crit, and it's... Panicked pilot. Panic pilot. Oh, I'm sorry, wounded pilot. Wounded, wounded pilot. pilot. I'm sorry. Panic would be worse. Because yeah. he absolutely could do a 3K if he wanted to next turn. Oh, this is next turn for Cameron is absolutely the K turn. Right. Look, looks like he's taking range one invader shots. Wow, that's awful. Yep. At this point, I expect Cameron's hoping that he can burn through the last force that Vader has. That oh, there's a go. Good there. roll. Spin that focus. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Vader Natties, of course. You hate to see it. I mean, the Sith Lord does what he does. He, that's true. So at this point, do you keep shooting Vader or do you take the the, the shots at Riot? Well, Not, that is a range one at Riot. You keep shooting Riot, Vader, so. I think. You think? 
Bader um, is tokenless, so I, I think that makes sense. And there's two hits on him, at least. So if it had been Invader, he would have rolled three dice. The, the only reason I say that is because Riot's got focus uh, evade, and let's 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 tear down Vader's force. Uh, he oh, sure. Just an X1 without it. Yeah, no, I, 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 I do agree with that. The range one shots are tempting, especially when you haven't done any damage. Oh, there's a blank out. So this is when you'd like to yell heroic, but you can't. Yeah, absolutely. Now, he does get all his force back from hate, but this is something I've always... I have railed against hate on Vader. I know people like it, but for me, it's like you don't. I, I feel like you don't get much mileage out of it personally. It's when you're in these situations where it pays off. I suppose that's that's, that's fair. I mean, what he effectively did is get get two turns of force recharge. So. Well, really, just one because he was gonna recharge oh, one he's of gonna those get force one anyway. Fair, fair. I mean, it it is nice to be back at full force, but I always feel like you want that health back more. So, kind of like recapping this round because we're we're back at dials now. Um, I mean, Andrew did four damage. Mm -hmm. And Cameron only did two, but it was a critical two. I mean, Vader's one away from half. Yeah, and Vader is, given that Vader's the only part of, of uh, Andrew's squad that uh, moves after Chirpy, that I feel like that's a pretty big um, Now, it, it, odd thing is that I don't know... <sighs> Looking at where Andrew's red TIE fighter is sitting in front of Chirpy, I feel like he's not going to get that block that he might want. And instead is just probably going to K-turn or maybe do a too hard and then try to get in the way of Cameron's. Well, no, he can't. He can't get away with it. I, that I was like, the whole initiative discussion. I love the two, the three K on red and then yellow to the two bank. Uh, so yellow can be where red is, right? I could see that. I could also see yellow doing a two turn. It might to fit. kind of yeah. point at the tie fighters that are probably going to K turn behind Vader. Yep, that could that could be good. Two turn might be better because Riot's going to still be there, but those other tie fighters aren't. So that should clear. I like that. Yeah, the more I look at, I mean, it does depend on where Cameron puts his Tie Fighters, mm -hmm. but that's not something at, at this point. I, I feel like with your own blockers that are moving second, you just dial in the maneuver and and you hope it works. You know, right. I'm this isn't your critical ace. This is I would like to have this guy here because I think that would be a good blocking position. Mm -hmm. And even if you get blocked, you might still end up causing a problem. Mm hmm. I mean, yellow could could yellow three k. Um, Cameron's or Andrews. Andrews. Uh, ooh, I think that would fit, and that would sit right in front of Chirino. It might work. So, his uh, Andrews. Interestingly, Andrews Brown Academy did a one turn while yeah. his other Tie Fighters K turned. I think. That's Cameron. Cameron is hoping to block that uh, that one bank or straight from Vader. I that you know we were talking about that and we we're expecting Brown to do that K turn, but the more I looked at it, I was like, no, he could be a good blocker on Vader. Now, unfortunately, can't one of Cameron's Tie Fighters did bump into himself, and that was a uh, a straight two, and that actually did not clear very far. Mm -hmm. Well, we see the three K from Red. Sure. There's the two bank. You called it, not me. I'll, I'll I'll own up to that. You 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 had a better mindset on. And looking at where the two bank is, that is a pretty good spot for that that tie fighter. That does leave him with uh, camera with very few places he could wind up. Right. 
I mean, I was thinking Cameron would be doing either a one bank or two hard with with Rack. We'll see what happens. Rack was the one ship last that coming into this turn that I wasn't sure what would. Oh, that's not what you want to see for Rack. That's a gas cloud with also hitting it next turn. Wow. But no strain. Yep. That is crazy. I mean, it would have been better to do the two hard. Speaking of two hard, uh, Chirino tries that two turn and goes nowhere. Well, and the cool thing for Andrew is Rack is facing forward with his hourglass arc, so Ryad's going to take the uncontested shot here. Yeah. The only fact, shot she uh, might she... take is from that red bumped TIE fighter with two dice and no mods back there. Yeah. Um, well, Ryad could take shots from blue and green TIE fighter. So Vader did a five straight through the cloud, yellow strain. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of surprised by that. But it does get Vader out of the fight, and and he's not getting shot by by uh by Rack at all. So, mm -hmm. so this is going to be this rack is shot. uh it's got to be Rack. This shot. is rack shot, but at, at oh at the red Tie Fighter behind him, obviously. So two, and two, two damage, damage. yeah. So at this point, Cameron is winning by a decisive 11 points to nothing. But uh, <laughs> that's that's a hit crit crit on two racks. So wow. about that. With a weapons failure. Oh oh. And and Rack is already pretty action starved. Like He's well, going to he, need. He wants that. to reinforce every turn. He does, and but you know because of that he can't target lock, he can't focus, he can't do any of the other things you might want to do. Rotate arc. Um, so he's taking the shot at Vader, who is strained. I think that's a completely fair decision. Um, but no, no damage. That is still an actionless Vader. I, I, I don't blame Cameron for at all for taking these shots. No, I don't. Yeah, you take them. I think this yellow Vader through the cloud is going to pay off. Uh, well, that's that's Andrew's yellow, unfortunately. No, I'm saying uh, YOLO uh, Vader. Oh, YOLO, YOLO Vader. Through the, through the cloud. And he just rolled one evade. That's all he needed. That's all only he one needed. Crit. Yeah, but I mean, Vader can start tearing up Rack next turn, so possibly. If Vader, possibly. If Vader keeps rolling natties like this, he's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um. So this is red. Up close and personal on Rack, who just takes the damage because that's what Rack does. Yep. And Rack is down seven health out of um, 17. That's a yes, mm -hmm. 17 because of the shield upgrade. Yeah. So two more, and he's at, he's at half. Now, Rack, Vader is absolutely, and, and Rack, uh, uh, Riot are both absolutely going to start trying to tear into Rack at this point. But Rack could also just do a, a long straight and um, basically just start shooting out the butt. Use oh. the bow tie turret just to. Sure. Um, so Riot will K turn, probably, right? Uh, but she won't get her free evade, right? Uh, no, she will. She just won't get her action. Okay. The the free evade is like any free actions from fully completing a maneuver mm -hmm. are something you can still do, which is how the Jedi starfighters mm -hmm. just don't and laugh at gas clap. Um, 
But um, yeah, probably I would say if I were in Andrew's position, I would probably take like the three straight or maybe the two straight. Um, of course, the problem with the two straight is that you're you're already guaranteed you're hitting the gas cloud this turn. If you do the two straight, then you're guaranteed to hit it the turn no, after go, as I well. I agree. Go go long, right? Do a four so you can do a three next turn or whatever. And or a three bank, yeah. Yeah, you could do a three bank next turn. You'd be fine. I mean, he does need to get off this this track of where he's going to be hitting the gas cloud every round if he keeps mm-hmm. going straight. So at some point, he'll need to bank that, or or maybe do a maybe he'll do a three hard to the right, anticipating Cameron turning away. Mm-hmm. Um, personally, in Cameron's shoes, I would take the decimator straight. Mm-hmm. Uh, the bank would be nice, except for the gas cloud that puts you in front of. What do you think Cameron does with his TIE Fighters? He's got them pointed in three different directions right now. Four, actually. Um, three. For for Brown, I think it's pretty easy. He just does like a, maybe a, a one or even a two hard to the mm-hmm. right and just sits there. Um, for the, 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 the ones that K-turned just maybe do like a... a two or three straight but mm-hmm. what i what i'm curious he's gonna do is what he's gonna do with yellow me in too. Front of that asteroid me too if he does a 3k then he's gonna hit it again probably <laughs> i i think he does like maybe a one hard to the right mm-hmm. oh he he tried for the three turn oh that was i was wondering if the two turn might bump but the, the three was Mm-hmm. and banking to hit a gas cloud. I mean, to be fair, again, he doesn't really care about his TIE Fighters. If Actually, they die, please they kill, kill them. Please. Yeah. Actionless TIE Fighters? Look at these. Hold on. Look at this juicy bait I'm dangling out in front of you, you know? <laughs> I'm look, stressed. This I'm TIE strained. Fighters. Shoot yeah. Me. <laughs> I'm actually amazed Green TIE Fighter didn't bump there, but... Me too. Um... Uh... Oh, and yellow did a turn, a right three turn. Okay, yeah, I could see over that. Over the rock, no a, consequences. I mean, he was going over the rock no matter what he did. I like the turn. Yeah, wow, that I, didn't uh, bump. That one hard. Oh, that one hard was clear. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, 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 granted, I was confident that one hard would land, and looking at how close that is, I probably should have. <laughs> <laughs> But I glanced at red. I'm like, okay, I won hard. No problem. You're good. Uh, if I'm Cameron, I don't barrel roll that there. But oh, at this point, he's committed. Well, to we it. don't know where Rack's going. Rack could be doing too hard left. It's true. That That is true. I think that's what he's doing. I think that's oh. why Cameron had his oh crap moment and uh, undid his focus target. Speaking of oh crap moment, Yellow tried to K-turn and bumped into Vader. Andrew's yellow. Right. A strain on Ryad, who's untouched. So we're fine here. Uh, did they actually already roll it? I did. Yep, he rolled it. Okay. That's what that okay. hit is in the middle. So Rack went straight, so I'm, I'm confused by the barrel roll on red. But, uh... um, maybe he was trying to bowl like get in the way of because he wouldn't he didn't know where uh red was gonna go so maybe he was trying to get in the way of red doing like a too hard turn instead um andrew's red tried to um uh do like a a two straight which was never going to clear but right maybe he didn't care about that and i expect he did so we got vader shot he has no target locks i believe and vader k turned which I'm actually very surprised I'm that not. just grants He's grants Cameron force. the free rerolls. Yeah. Oh, that's true. That's true. He's now stressed. Regardless of the source of the stress, he is now stressed. And Cameron gets to reroll one attack die against Vader that's for this great, round. Great point. That's that's the kind of danger about Sloan is yeah, you, you the you take the extra stress when you kill ships, but you have to remember that if you stress yourself, you're also giving your giving your opponent. That's right.
Oh, did Cameron fix what? He did fix weapon failure for his action. Good. Okay, let me. I was gonna yell at him if he didn't. <laughs> So Vader did a two dice attack. Didn't didn't want to spend. The yeah, force. Vader actually did not have range to Chirino, which I think Cameron's probably actually more upset about than uh, Andrew. <laughs> that stressed Tie Fighter that attempted to K turn is also a tempting target for more mm -hmm. rerolls. I'll be curious to see which he goes after. Sounds like he took the range three to Ryad. Oh, no, no, he took the shot at, at Red TIE Fighter and killed it. But okay, fair. I forgot that one was at one health. Never mind. Yeah. I completely forgot that, that Red TIE was already at one health. So Riot shot Rack and got pushed two more damage, correct? Um, yeah, uh, no, it looks like just one damage. Okay. Because Riot's only got three cards. So the rerolls on the Stress Vader... Real on stuff Vader, or no? I think it was on. Uh, was that on Vader or was oh, that on? Ryan. That was on. Ty. No, that was on Yellow Tie. It was also oh, stressed. Who so now has a uh... wounded pilot now? And now he's going in on Vader. So he's parallel, which means he can take the unobstructed shot, I believe. To Vader, yes. And it looks like that's what he's taking. Oh, that's a good that, those rerolls really help. Vader don't care. Yeah, I feel apropos of nothing that it's important to remember that for TTS dice, you really have to press the roll button a few times I to agree. get a good roll. I hit the roll button about three times while it's in the air. Oh, yeah. Looks like this one's at the TIE Fighter instead. Oh, yeah, because Vader's not even in range, so yeah. Right. Yeah, I think the real the real shame here is that Chirino wasn't in range to shoot at me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he did need to finish off that one health TIE Fighter. I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. um, personally, I would have been very tempted to leave that to Academy Red, but uh, I don't know. I mean, Rack really wishes he had a K-turn right now. To some extent. I um, mean, because he's going to be out of it. He's got a cloud to his left. Of course, the strain doesn't matter. No, strain doesn't matter to him. It's just the actions. The real problem is that um, he's heading the, the opposite direction of his swarm, and the swarm needs to be at range zero to three of him. For That's benefits. right. That's right. That's so. I'm expecting almost. I wonder if Cameron just does like a too hard turn to the right and accepts the asteroid. Wow, that'd be a gutsy. Or maybe if, do, do they have a three turn? I'll look. They do have a the, white three. Maybe you that. You think that'll land um, past the rock? Uh, that will def probably hit the rock, but I think that does end past the rock. Maybe. That's what I mean. Like he'll he won't he won't land on it. He'll just go through. Yeah, it, right. Because that's the problem with the two is the two definitely puts him on it, so he can't do that. Uh. I don't know, maybe he does a, uh, a two-bank and sets himself up for a two-turn next turn. Hmm. That's 
interesting. I have to imagine that Cameron's going to be going in on Vader. Well, he's certainly trying, that's for sure. Well, the I TIE mean, fighter. you know that Vader's straights, blues, are two and three. So Brown does a two straight, and he's blocked Vader, probably. See, for Vader, I would expect... Like, I want to say Vader's two bank would be ideal. Yeah. That's actually... But it's still blocked really... by a brown two straight. I think that I think the brown two straight is going to block everything Vader wants to do. I, I wonder if the two straight blocks the two... No, I think you're right. I think it does. Um, yeah. It pretty much blocks everything. And then I think... Blue and green fly in, yellow flies in, red flies in. They, yeah, I think blue and green each do two straights, right? Um, you know, you obviously want to move brown first. Uh, green can actually do a faster move if he wants, mm -hmm. he's not clearing yellow. Wow, oh, uh. That Ty tried to do a K turn. Wow. A 4K? 4K. Okay. Um, I mean, it, I, I, I don't get it. But... I mean, if it, if it had worked, that would have been great, but... Well, they've got a 3 and a 4 on their dial, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah, they got a 3 and a 4. So you can do the one that doesn't bump. Or the one that does, you got you got choices here. Now, what is nice about these K turns, or their blues K turn, is that it does put Vader in a in a difficult spot if Vader does blow past. But I don't think Vader even. I, I don't think uh, Vader does that. No, I mean like. I think Vader ends up touching either brown or blue, and and then shoot so whichever one he's not touching. Right. Now, it is interesting that uh, Cameron has effectively gummed up Raya. Well, probably, yeah. What did Raya do last turn? Raya did a... Um... Well, it was a K turn. Yeah, I think it was a five straight. It was a five K. I think you're right. I think it was the five. She was right. Remember, she was kind of in the uh, armpit of that that gas cloud. Yeah, it that could have been a four. Like it could have been a four. I don't know. I th I think only the five gets them that far. Mm -hmm. Regardless, yeah, long K turn. Um, I mean, he could have. Even dialing in the five to go back, I think that actually bumps green. So yellow took a evade, I think, and the yellow did the evade pilot. action, and then wounded pilot caused him to take a uh, mm -hmm. stress. And uh, Ryan did try to do that three bank we talked about and got blocked. Did she land on the rock? No, she's clear of the rock by a hair. <laughs> like I was, I was wondering about that myself and there's a one bank from vader and vader is also blocked and can't shoot at blue so brown blocked vader brown did block vader um like we were talking about but blue's k turn is is just kind of giving him nothing so vader's taking a range two shot on the red tie fighter and that's obstructed i think uh probably no, can't be because it's overlapping riot and said riot wasn't on the rock. Oh yeah, you're you're right, you're right. So this is Desi on Riot. Correct. What a role that is. He can spin the Oh sport man, three, three crits. crits. So Riot takes one shield. Oh, oh, oh. I mean it's 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 nice to see three crits always, but the defender is still a. Uh, Three agility ship, like there's still a lot of and, and seven health. 
There's a yeah. lot of meat to chew through there. Yeah, there is. You know, there is one argument for the Blues K turn that I actually do. I think I might agree with, which is it does let him be in position to block Vader next turn. Oh, sure. That's a good point. So Rack took a rain tree shot, and uh, I mean there was a rain tree shot on Rack. He rolled a blank. So I think. Hey, Riot took one more damage. Yeah. So now Rack is at half. Correct. So Andrew's winning now. I think that was Yellow Invader, and he's fine here. Yeah, looks like it. Um, it's amazing how much Force Vader has for having no actions two turns in a row. Well, that was that full recharge from Hate. He hasn't had to spend right. any since. So that stressed blue TIE Fighter did nothing. No, I think that was that was green. I don't green. even think blue has anyone in arc. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it is green. Yeah, I see it now. Well, but roll. red rolling the two crits on the damaged TIE Fighter, who is now dead no matter what. No, that was on Vader. Vader spent the force. Oh, oh, that was oh, that was on Vader. Okay, I well, awesome. I mean, you can't ask a TIE Fighter to roll better than that. You just can't. No. No, double crits on... Uh, I, you know, I thought that was at yellow for a minute there, but... Um, oh, dear. Oh, no, okay, that worked. That, that's that's fine. That's that's all fine. I think. So, Accidentally didn't undo redo, and, the, and the, right. the TIE Fighter bumped back into Riot. So what do you think Cameron does this turn? Well... <sighs> Um, I think, you know, it is going to come down, you know, the order of the TIE Fighters moving is going to be very important. Oh, that's I a great point. I think you move red first mm -hmm. and do perhaps a, I would say a one hard to the left and then barrel roll to the left to try and block the short K turn from Riot. Hmm. Because that's the best shot you've got is getting any kind of block on Riot at this turn. Um, I would say green. Man, I don't know what green does. I was going to say maybe a one hard to the left, but that's... I'll be honest, I don't like any of green's moves. Um, brown, maybe a turn to catch Chase Ryad and blue a two bank to the left. But green, I don't like anything it can do. No. Or yellow uh, with the wounded pilot stress that it has. I mean... Uh, that's, that's Andrew's yellow. Okay, that's right. Cameron's yellow has the purple base now. They, they realized there was an issue with that and had a different... Because they're both Academy Pilot 2 as well. So Cameron colored his uh, TIE Fighter yellow. Um, um, yeah, the main issue I, I'm seeing is that uh, Shirano is getting farther and farther out of the fight and farther and farther away from any, any possible synergy with Sloan. And if one of those TIE Fighters dies and it's beyond range 3 of Sloan, you suddenly lost that giant, giant control element. Yeah, what do you think about Rack? Is he doing the 2-3 hard? And if so, which way? Um, I mean, I think Rack definitely turns to the right and yeah, does I think the two so too. turn. You, you do the two because it's the shortest turn you've got, and you turn to the right because it's the it's what's most likely to keep you relevant and keep you in range of the fight. Mm -hmm. um, it does make you predictable for next turn, but at a certain point, you've got to deal with that. Right. Well, they've got 18 minutes left by my clock and their clock. So... I imagine they've got, what, two turns, maybe? Maybe three. 
or probably two. With all these three things, is a po- it's, yeah, it's possibly all these things three. Tie Fighters, you know, on the board. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, with uh, automation, you can move them just as easily as, as you know more easily. There's the one turn barrel roll I was just talking. About. I say just like a few minutes ago, but hey. Um, looks like green just did a three straight and accepted that it was bumping, which, On yeah, all right. I, I, strain. blue is just collecting strain tokens at this <laughs> point. Fortunately, Cameron can, uh, you know, with Riot moving before um, uh, Rack, you know, Cameron no, can decide no, Rack, whether to put... Rack moves first, right? No, Riot's oh, a four. Oh, Riot's a four, that's right. So there's a three bank, which, all right, yeah, good move, absolutely. Um, and, sh- and so Andrew is expecting Rack to turn right, and he does. And Cameron now has the opportunity to turn his turret if he wants to, and personally, this is where I would for sure. Because yeah, there it is. The only the only problem is he's not going to get a reinforce, right? Right. Um. Yeah. That that is the thing. But Vader does bump. You know he's he's getting these lovely actionless Vaders, but uh oh, but Vader takes a damage on that's, that asteroid. That's big. And is now at half, and suddenly the game swings hard back to Cameron. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was just about to say, you're, you're getting all these lovely actionless Vader moments where you, where you don't have great shots on. But uh, Vader's now down to two health, and basically anything is a great shot at Vader now. Oh, looks like okay. So Cameron's taking the shot at Riad, and looks like he's gonna proc ruthless. Yeah, so he damaged red tie, his own red tie fighter to do an extra point of damage. <laughs> and, or- and Riad takes no damage. Yeah. Oh well. That's ridiculous. That's rough. Hit, hit, crit back at uh, Rack, unfortunately. Yeah, you let me know what the crit is. Loose Stabilizer. That's... Oh, man. Um, That's... You know what? That is a damage you just take on Rack and, and forget about it. You assume that was a direct hit because you don't want to go straight. No. Is that yellow on Vader? That was yellow on Vader. Vader spent an, a force to mm-hmm. avoid that damage. Unfortunately, like I was saying, that's that's Cameron's only shot. What I can't get is how come this game isn't bloodier than it is. I'm very surprised it isn't isn't bloodier. It's been a lot of uh, fire and noise and not much happening. Okay. There's uh there's Riad just rolling on out of everything. Do the dice confirming. know when Riot's rolling? That's what I want to know. Apparently. And I don't think there's any other shots this round, so they're just rolling into the next round. Oh no, I'm sorry. Never mind. Uh, yellow on yellow violence over here on the corner. <laughs> it was Academy 2 on Academy 2. Only one may live. <laughs> two, two enter, one, one leave. That's, yeah, yeah. I really got to stop accidentally undoing maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> now, as they go back into dials, Riad is in a awkward spot Mm -hmm. because i do think the three turn that you would ordinarily want to do hits that rock 
And of course, any of the straight maneuvers hit that rock. So we've got 13 minutes left about. Yep. Uh, Riot is almost full. Yeah. So I wonder if this is a turn you just say, you know what, I'm not getting the evade this turn. Could and, be. And Vader and and Riot both just go after Rack. Yeah, if if I'm if I'm Andrew here, I probably forego my evade token on Riot to just be like, you know what? Uh man, is the one hard turn red on them still? Oh, I believe so, yes. I'll go check that by way, so. Uh, funny enough, both the ones and the twos are red. I didn't realize the twos were red. No, that was, I think that was the case in one plan. As I think well, you do I... a one bank with Riot. Then. Uh, I'd be worried about that also hitting the rock, personally. Or you could do the three hard. I think the three hard will clear it, and then you barrel roll. Oh, the three hard absolutely clears it, but I think the three hard. Oh, oh, you mean? Oh, okay. You mean you don't think the three hard even hits? Them? Yeah, I don't think it even hits it. That's close. That's a very well. Close. He won't land on it, so sure. We no can matter, both agree to that. No matter what he does, I think he's going to have an evade token. Right? Maybe do the five straight. Oh no, you can't because you move before rack. Never mind. Right. I keep getting confused because I keep thinking about Riot as PS5, but that was 1.0. So I'm still yeah. unlearning 1.0. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's fair. Um, when there were subtle changes like that is where it's hard to keep remember, in my opinion. Oh, they're just they're just now testing out the little custom die rollers. Yeah, Cameron has to just do a turn and accept that the loose stabilizer damage is going. Mm -hmm. But what it? But the the damage is getting critical, right? Because he's down to five. It is absolutely. Um. And rack is worth eighty nine points, so right. that's you know. That is the most expensive ship on this board. Right. So yellow plows through this gas cloud and, and get, does nothing. I mean, one of the things I'm thinking about is how many shots is right, good shots is Riot actually going to take? Because, yeah, Cameron did do a good job of, of, you know, basically clogging up the board but he did so good a job of it that he's pumping himself and other ships yeah and a lot of ships just aren't getting actions anymore which is uh, you know you need you know uh -huh. the, those little shots do have to push through damage at some point so blue just blocked the one bank if that was going to be a thing where it's going to do it's going to be blocked now. also the two turn is pretty blocked here uh -huh. too if that so in, you know, I don't think she's gonna do that though. I, I think I think it was one bank or three hard. It's personally what the the two choices were. So that is Andrew's yellow type menacingly up there, right? Taking another stress from wounded pilot. Yeah, but again. he's like, if I can do a, a damage with. It's a rack with that TIE fighter. That could be YOLO over the asteroid. Did not see that. Over the asteroid. I mean, I guess that does still give him shots if, if Fry had the... And takes a damage. Uh, yeah. He's now two health away from giving up half points. Yeah. But... Yeah, and Cameron just accepted that that crit was doing an extra damage. Um, ooh. Oh, you know what? Something I just thought about. You can't tell from the board state, but Ryan has Predator. Ryan does have Predator. I completely forgot about that, too. And, and that is active. What a weird move for Vader. 
Vader's talent rolling. Um, yeah. I can understand that, I suppose, to some extent. Is that protecting him? Is that what we're doing? I, I, he's trying. I think he's trying to keep himself out of range of of a uh, shrek. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Who would ruthlessly, you know, do a crit to get to three hits? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, and um, Shirano did reinforce, and yes. Riot is completely in the rear. So, no, it, will... it made sense to reinforce the way the board yeah. stick was. He didn't Absolutely. have to turn his his, his arc. Nope. So this, this is looks, this is rack on uh, riot, right? This is rack on riot, and he's probably going to ruthless again. I would expect a ruthless blue. Blue's he not can't. A, blue. Yeah, blue's blue is untouched and not even in danger, but he's not going to do it. Wow. Ah, two evades and spends the evade, and he's home for. <laughs> I got. I would have. I would have ruthless that person. I, I got a feeling about Blue. He's plucky. He, he could totally get that. So he's doing the predator reroll for hit crit crit on wreck. That's a possible kill depending on what crits are there. So it's going to be two crits. I don't know why we move backwards, but it's going to be two crits because of reinforce. I don't think Rat can. Die. Oh, he's trying. He's trying to generate the um, the front back like the full one eighty uh, display. Okay. But like, they're trying to determine if Riot is completely in the back or not. Oh, that's interesting. Like, there, it is close, but I do believe Riot is completely in the back. And, oh, she is. You can tell. You look down top yeah. view. Yeah. Structural damage, a meaningless crit for uh, and That's panic the best pilot crit for him. Panic pilot is rough. That means he's not yeah. going to get an action in the last turn. If they do have a last turn, they're playing reasonably fast, so it's possible. Um, they got five minutes and change left. Yellow shooting riot. Shooting Riot, it's the only shot you've got, and yeah. Riot takes a shield. Yeah, it's a close game. So Riot's down to uh, so one away from half on Riot. Yeah, and there are there's at least two TIE Fighters with shots on Riot still. Wow. That's half on that's, Riot. That's that's half on Riot right there. Crashing through that rock and taking the extra damage. Uh, you know, we were both saying, yeah, you probably just want to take that, but ended up costing Andrew a little bit there. Hit crit on yellow? Hit crit on yellow, and that kills the yellow TIE Fighter as well. Just picking up a few extra points. Well, it's Every point counts. Yellow still does get to shoot at uh, Chirpy. Yep. And the reinforce is in the back. It is. So he just killed Rack? Yeah, oh... Rack was at two health because of the damage from uh, loose wow. stabilizer, so that did take out Rack. I was one short. I was one behind. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was the loose stabilizer damage, which again you had to accept that you can't just. But God, that's that's huge um that uh that is however the only points that uh uh that andrew has at this they got three minutes left so they're definitely getting another round yeah um well just they got one turn left so let's talk about let's talk about win condition so cameron's destroyed 122 by my count 
and uh yep that's two tie fighters and half of riad that would and half uh, invader oh and half of vader yep yep everything is limping around here right so cameron's done 122 and then i've got 89 for andrew which is wreck that's correct now you got two tie fighters that are one away from half right but when you're talking about, you're going to have to completely kill two TIE Fighters That's right. in order to make up that point difference. That's right. And you've got one shot from Riot and one shot from Vader left. Yep. Taking out those, those extra TIE Fighters uh, has made that a lot harder for, for Andrew to do at this point. Mm -hmm. But it's still possible. Very possible. Especially considering, you know, some of them are already at one health. So... Uh, one thing I'd like to point out, we questioned Cameron not using Ruthless more in this game. But it's going to work out for him, possibly here. Possibly. Um, so he's doing a, a four straight and a barrel roll with a blue TIE Fighter, mm -hmm. which... You know, you at this point when you're trying to save your Tie Fighters, you need to clear those strain tokens, and he's already had two on him, so get one off at least. Um, barrel rolling, I assume, because he wants to. I'm actually not sure why he barrel rolled. Mm -hmm. Does he think he will not get shot by the short K turn if he does that? I don't know. It looks like he's trying to get all guns on Riot, who is at two health left. So, you know, both well, Vader I mean, it and makes Riot... sense because all his TIE Fighters are pointed basically in that direction. Yeah, and Cameron's cursing himself for the barrel roll, and yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> like, that that was... Because uh, that would have blocked block. Riot. That would have blocked Riot. That would have been... That would have essentially been victory for Cameron. To block Riot and deny any shots means that... Riad, uh, Cameron wins. I think he's going to focus Link to a barrel and have a decent chance of taking that red TIE fighter out. Yeah. Uh, the problem is that the only other one that's damaged is Brown. And Brown is at maybe range three through a So Riad has to get three hits on yellow and it rolled three blanks, is what I'm hearing. Correct. Yeah. Wow. Vader will roll the three hits he needs. Hit crit. And that will kill red. So there's one TIE fighter down for win condition. Vader did his job. Vader did his part. Coming down to the wire here. It's an 11 point game. So actually. And that's range two to yellow. So here's the thing. Here's the scary thing. If he had done half damage on that TIE Fighter, it would be a tie game. But unless it's a direct hit on yellow, he won't get there. Uh, it looks like he didn't get anything on the roll for... for... Huh. They, they rolled so fast, it looks like no damage was had on yellow. Right. So now Cameron's just taking the shots he's got. Which, to be fair, when you're in the moment and you're in this, you know, you're you're not sure how close the game is at this point. Absolutely. Yeah, they, that's that's all the shots. So uh, that so would be. Let we we're gonna have to. I'm gonna pull up my calculator. Hell, I need to. I need to. But I believe your point total is correct. That would be a first. <laughs> I'm gonna go listen in on their their. Discussion. Sure, sure, sure. Or. Oh, I thought she was in the seventies. Vader seventy two. Yeah. Brad's really 80, 82 points base. Yeah, yeah, 111 to 122, making it like Cameron's victory like by 11 points. No. 
And I'm hearing Cameron okay. astonished that Riot costs as well, much as she does. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was the second most expensive ship on this board. One more time. Congratulations to Cameron. Yeah, God, that was a that, you know, it was a it was a very non bloody game for a I long guess, stretch. And then the all of a now. sudden just ships started popping left and right. Hey guys, hey guys. just wanted hey. to tell y'all congrats hey. on such a great game. Yeah, yeah. That, that was that was that was a, that was a Heck of a game for sure, absolutely. It's wild. Uh, yeah, it, it came down to we, we. Charles and I were talking going into this last round. It comes down to if uh, if Andrew kills two Tie Fighters, he wins. If he doesn't, then it's 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 Cameron's by a hair, and there we have it. But. God, I, I, Riad taking all that damage at the very end was astonishing. Yeah, yeah, that, that definitely is definitely got me. That, um, yeah, just the rock, and then just the ties plinking away at her. Yeah, it, it was heading over that rock to get that kill secured there. That was cool. I didn't see that three bank. I think it was a three bank, Andrew. That was. Yeah. It was a three bank. Yeah. But it was perfect because even if uh, Cameron had done it too hard, he still would be an arc. So that was that was a good maneuver. Yeah. That. Yeah, I think maybe if I had just gone harder on putting damage into ties earlier and getting half points, because I didn't even consider that. Because like half points on one more tie would have put it in a tie. I don't know where that would have ended up. Yeah, it would have been a tie. <laughs> of course, yeah. you know Cameron would roll a crap ton more dice than you would oh, in, yeah, a, in the final salvo. Five to eight. But, but, you know, we were kind of hoping for the half damage on the tide just because it'd be fun to see. Oh, sure. It gets a, yeah. roll, a final salvo. Yeah, going... I've played two games of this now. And Rack's... Rack having Sloan is a huge deterrent. God, mm -hmm. it's scary. Yeah, like, you know, the only time Vader killed a tie was when that tie was outside of range 3 of Rack. Right. Like, that's the only time... And he was going after the tie. Well, uh, the the red tie didn't die till the last round after Rack was right, 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 dead. Right, yeah, sorry. And then he shot another tie when it was out of range three of Rack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, it's only one round, but it's only one round if you get two blue turns in a row, but you have to do two blue maneuvers and on certain ships, that's just not very feasible. I don't know, maybe I should have just committed to Riot being stressed and just K-turning around, killing ties. One thing I'm, I'm I, sure I have, gotten there. I have, I have a question on my mind, Cameron, and I'm, yeah. I'm before like going into like summaries and stuff. I'm kind of curious when when Rack shot Riot at range one at the very end there after after Riot hit the rock. It looked like you were considering ruthless on your blue Tie Fighter, but decided against it. And I'm curious what that what decision was. Was this the turn Rack died? Yes. I probably forgot I had ruthless. Um, <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for you to do it. Because he, he had you had three hits, and I yeah, was it's one blank, always because I, was... I never I've never used ruthless, but before this list, and like I remember Sloan because Sloan is such a huge part of it. I don't remember ruthless because it's just That's like fair. Uh, I have two points. Ruthless okay, because we we were we were wondering about that because there was a few turns where you could have turned it to three hits if you ruthless. Yeah. And I did it once and yeah. then forgot I had the card. <laughs> okay, because I, I was thinking maybe you were kind of, you know, playing discipline. Because at the end of the game, because you didn't have easy TIE Fighters for Andrew to kill, that was a difference. So, yeah. Yeah. It worked out I for you. Even, you. You could just lie and say, yeah, I meant to do that because I'm so good <laughs> at this game. <laughs> no, against def against defenders, right? I I don't like spending like health or all the tokens to try and force damage to an offender because they're rolling three dice with a focus with an evade token if yeah. they didn't spend the focus especially with rack because he's shooting at Riyadh. Mm -hmm. she's gonna have a focus and an evade so oh, I'll, I'll ruthless put a damage on a tie and then you know oh th two evades and an eyeball and a, and a and a blank oh spent both tokens no damage so what was uh, then going into summaries? What was uh, want to ask both of y'all what your what your approaches were coming in? Uh, starting with uh, let's start with Andrew. Uh, I really didn't want to jest this because mm -hmm. 
I knew that I was going to get bogged down by ties and uh -huh. have bad shots on Rack for like the the first engagement. Then Ride probably wouldn't be able to K-turn. Things would go really bad. So I was trying to draw him into the rocks around here, try to split up the swarm, and then fight in like this sort of lane, where I could either kill like single tie fighters, or just like be able to plank at Rack without eating too much damage, because. Most of my, because like Vader and Riot can both endure getting shot by like two or three ties as long as they're not at range one mm. and take almost no damage. Sure. Yeah. Yep. And you were really good about not getting stressed and avoiding the stress because, you know, two dice with a reroll, it's, it's Howl Runner without having to stay range one and Howl Runner. Yeah. And then like after the first engagement, I was just trying to stay far away from the ties unless I could get it on rack. Yeah, so, like, I and... just sort of went up this way instead of trying to like turn around back into the fight. Yeah, I definitely think you you had the right idea with that for sure. I mean, you're you're there was a couple points when I was wondering what were like when you, I think when you banked Riad in on round two, maybe I, I think it was. I was I was a little concerned, but you 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 turned it into a really nice. Mm -hmm. situation of playing on that lane that you wanted to play on and and like you say those t the tie fighters there were a lot of shots being exchanged early rounds for no damage on both sides yeah on bo oh yeah on both sides absolutely when uh cameron when you had the decimator kind of far out of the fray was that intentional you wanted to kind of slow down andrew killing him is that when he was kind of over in this top right yeah. corner where Riot is, that was part. That was basically to get him out of range of both Riot and Vader. Mm. Um, so that Riot is the only one shooting at him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that was good. Makes sense. It gets him most of the ties out of Sloan, but he's not going for the ties. He's going for Rack. Right. Well, and with reinforce and Andrew, pretty much takes focus with Riot every time he can. Yeah, and it's it. Yeah, reinforced. You have to make that decision. And I mean, that last round, I have a tie in my front arc and a brat and a Riyad in my back arc. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like, okay, Riyad will kill me. The tie might, and then the the tie got me. <laughs> yeah. You even killed the tie before it got there, but yeah. Well, hey, initiative steps. It's yeah. One of my favorite things is initiative oh, yeah. steps where you still get your shots. Oh, right. Absolutely. I mean, that's how you get Rack, is you make him have to choose, do I reinforce front or do I reinforce back? And, you, you know, you made me choose. Um, I splitting him off from your swarm was smart, though. Yeah, because... just made it really hard for me to get my damage in. Well, part of it is Sloan only benefits the swarm if A, a, a tie is going to die, or B, one of your ships is going to be stressed that round. And looking at it, I didn't see any way for any, you know, Vader probably wouldn't be stressed. Um, Riyadh's not going to stress herself. That TIE fighter is whatever. Um, it's like, okay, I want Rack to live another couple turns right, instead of just getting Sloan, because Sloan doesn't go off if Rack dies. Yeah. Um, only the ties will trigger the double stress. So it was worth more to get Rack out of there. Actually, I, more rounds. I, oh no, another friendly ship. Never mind. Yeah, it does. Yep. Yeah, so Rack benefits from the reroll. He does not benefit from the death stress. I was right. going to say, if it didn't say another, then actually I think it would give the double stress out as the dying gasp. But yeah. And I mean, against, Ria, against Vader, double stress would be useful. But against Riyadh, she can K turn even while stressed. Well, she 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 doesn't get her free of aid. She doesn't get the free focus, but she can stay on target and still get shots reliably while stressed. True, because she can do blue straights and still spin around. They don't clear stress anymore, but hey, at least I don't think they do. I forgot how we got works. They don't clear stress anymore because you increase the difficulty. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so, but that's not how Sloan works. So it's a moot point. I got 111 this game, right? Just for results. 111. Yep. 111 yep. to 122 was the final score. Yeah, so it was half points on a tie away. <laughs> yes, yep. it was. From and, a final salvo, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. I will say... Killing a tie away. It was the two hits from the rocks. 
because it was a rock that got Vader to half points. It was a rock that got Riyadh down to health to where I might shot to put her at half points. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, no. Riyadh would be at half points regardless of the rock. Oh, that's right. She's four and three, not four yeah. and four. That that backward yeah. shield health thing always gets me. That yeah, is, 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 this is seven health, but that rock still put her at two health away from half points, which is still very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was just sort of a product of me being really not wanting to engage the swarm. And maybe at that point, I just should have while Rack was so far away. But yeah, I mean, know, that's, once... that's, that's what your list does. It makes you make really hard decisions. Yeah. Um, for me, going into this, my whole goal was, okay, I, I want to bully Vader. I don't want Vader to be able to mm -hmm. take a shot, fly away, back, get back in, take a shot, fly away. Yeah, you bullied um, Vader. That was effective. <laughs> it's like, I think you got one, maybe, I think we got like two target lock shots off the Vader. I think just one it was bad yeah because this fader with fcs with his ability with advanced arcing fear isn't he's just consistent we'll, we'll always get hit hit crit it feels like yeah um well he always but he, he's super consistent and with the force he's also incredibly difficult to hurt so when i got two damage on him round one i was like oh okay um that was the last time we ever, ever did the Vader, but at mm -hmm. that point, Riyadh was just so in my face that it was kind of a case of, do I take range three shots on Vader or range three shots on Riyadh? And basically every time I did that, I was like, well, Vader has the force, Riyadh doesn't. All those mm, turns yeah. where Riyadh might have bumped or something. Um, or Riyadh spends her focus token, and now Riyadh just has the evade token. Um, then honestly, killing the TIE Fighters mostly was just like, well... I have no other shot, so we'll just shoot a TIE Fighter. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> y'all, in my to my eyes, y'all both played that game really, really well. That was yeah. a very close. This is actually the second time I think I've played this list. Um, was it against you, Andrew? Or no, I I, I remember when we played it was something else because I would have remembered this thing. I remember. No, I remember you had. I played a Vader Riyadh and two no, ties. Oh yeah. yeah, I was playing this, but I don't think you were playing your list. Cause no, 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 no. I was, I was playing Scum, and then Brandon's like, a whatever, change your list to whatever. And I was like, I want to play, play. I'm, I'm going to play Rack. <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, yeah, it's going into, going into a double ace list. It's kind of a, okay, who's scarier? Who can do more damage? And I mean, Riyadh defenders are really tough, but they don't have built-in mods. Yeah. Well, he has Predator, which he used Predator. at the end. Decent. I don't know. I'm switching her out for uh, Vestry, though. That's well, you, you, have to, you have to work to get Predator against small yeah. base ships. I mean, Rack, it's kind of, are you pointing at Rack? Okay, you probably have Bullseye. It's interesting yep. you said you're, so you're, you're going to play Vestry in the next tournament? Because yeah, I've actually been thinking about this, about how you know, in 1.0, we had, you know, PTL. Everyone had focus target lock every every turn. So Vestry's oh, yeah. ability was cool, but it wasn't game-breaking. But now in 2.0, where it's, you know, more fair, I think Vestry's pro ability is probably fantastic. Yeah, and with Vader, too, if, you, if I'm doing what I want in an engagement and I have someone locked with Vader, who never wants to spend his lock, then right. Vestry chains locks every turn right absolutely should be good no it's it's a good idea and you could always spend your target lock and not spend your focus and keep it for defense yeah and, and yep. he would tank up just as well as raya does except he has the rerolls yeah yep really the only thing you lose there is riad's turnaround but that's what you lose you you're you're a more predictable ship than raya that is true Oh my god, they have two blue straights. Damn. Yeah. Um, <laughs> prop, maybe a little less defensive, just because you don't have all the turnaround options, but Riyadh, I don't think, ever took a lock action, and I think she got Predator off once against uh, Rack. I got it off the last two turns I was shooting. Okay, so you got, so you got, you got it both times you were able to line up on Rack without having to dodge a TIE Swarm. Yeah. Um, so Predator on Riyadh, I yeah I think yeah Vessery is probably more consistently offensive ship right yeah Riyadh just kind of means you I uh, focus evade every round yeah right I mean Vessery is two more points but I mean 
I mean, Riot with Predator, Predator equals Vestry. So there you go. Yeah, yeah, I realized like a few games into this list that I've just built bad Vestry. <laughs> yeah, you would do more damage with Vestry, just bottom line. Oh, yeah. Like I just paid two points to get worse rerolls. Whenever I watch you play and you're rolling dice, Andrew, I never said this, I think, on the stream, but inside I'm saying, boy, I bet you wish you had Juke. Uh, like oh, every man. single time. Dude, but I it's... miss Juke. I miss PTL Riad. I miss PTL Riad so much. <laughs> I did too. Blue I played King Commonwealth turn. for six six months and 1.0. I, I played Vestry and Riad for six months. Yeah. How many, how many points? A couple tournaments. Huh? How many points was PTL back in 1.0? Three. Three. So oh, man. one and a half and 2.0 to get an extra action. How stupid was that? Well, no, it'd, it'd be six. It'd be six, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, six. Oh, it'd yeah. be six, but... Still, to get two actions a turn, oh, everybody's I don't know, that's right? With blue K turns and blue banks with the ion engine thing. Oh, and the man. pairing with Vessery was so good because he yeah. shoots first, right? <laughs> it was stupid. Target lock. It was stupid. Vessery would oh, use man. your lock because he shot first. Trip defenders is the boogeyman they don't want to bring well, back. Well, you say that, I but that I, I think Commonwealth, I played it, Commonwealth did quite well with it in System Open, even. Um, you know, two defenders and a, and a support ship and OGP. I I think it actually did better. It won yeah, system open than uh, I mean, the triple defenders did. I mean, even in two point the 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 two deltas and a palp shuttle that list hurts. Oh yeah, I flew that at Dragon's Lair tournament. That was very good. Oh, you flew that like when Corona was starting to go down. I, I didn't go to that. No, it was it was a year ago. Oh, a I year think, ago. I think, yeah, I think I played that actually, and yeah, it, yeah, it, they're initiative one, sure, but that means they'll always have their their tokens for defense if they need it, and then Palp gives them that offensive ability, and then they have a shuttle there to give them actions if necessary. Yeah, like defenders are I. I, I look at a defender and I I'm not like oh man three red die and all that I'm looking at okay four shield three green die and always an, always an evade token that's gonna that thing's gonna never gonna die right and even if it's not rerolling anything right it's just okay that's it's always gonna be shooting and it's gonna get you know three natty hits it's gonna get two hits it's gonna get one hit mm-hmm. Um, yep. and it's going to take me so long to kill it that it's this going to do damage just because of how long it's going to stay alive. Yeah, I think both you and Brandon last week were like, you know what, Riot's a trap. Just, you know, work on the rest it's... of the list. Yeah, it's... <clears throat> Once Vader got a little too far out, and I'd have to kind of split things too far away where I wouldn't, ever able, I wasn't, wouldn't be able to get Rack back in, I was like, okay, I'm, Riot's going in, let's go after her because she's going to be there. Whereas Vader is going to be mm-hmm. way the heck out here. And to go after him, my swarm will basically have to all turn around again. Right. Yeah. And I mean, once he hit that rock, it's like, okay, I got half on, on him. So let's let's go out. Let's try and plink away at Rio. <laughs> the one thing you might look at, um, Andrew, is is maybe Afterburners on Vader, if you can make it work with your new list. Because uh, I took Vader to Worlds with passive afterburners loved it because i didn't need a bid just you know if someone shows up with i6 that's fine make me go first cool start of engagement i'm gonna target lock focus link to a barrel roll we're fine here um but of course if you're gonna play with vestry you definitely want the fcs version but afterburners can be the difference in vader dying or not Um, hate is three points on vader right it is three yeah I mean, it's good. Hate's great. Yeah. Dang. Afterburners is six. That's that'd be hard to fit. I'd have to cut. Either I have to cut down Vestry to like something smaller. Yeah. I mean, it's fair. If you're commit, if you're if you're sold on the two Tie Fighters, then yeah, you're you're stuck with with that. But um, with basically your build, the way it is. Having those two ties, it's. It just it's more it's two more shots. Mm-hmm. They're initiative one, so I mean, like I did most of the times, like uh, oh, whatever. I might as well take it. I don't one shot. All right, I'll take the shot on the Tie Fighter. Yeah. Right. Well, People and are... every other list other than yours, Cameron, the Tie Fighters would move first, right? 
Yeah. Right. They that's so much. Yeah. That's why I took it. It's like, oh, hmm. It doesn't. It's irrelevant except for our ties. I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and take initiative here. Blocks you. That's definitely the right call. Yeah. No, the one point bid I was saying actually before the game started was a big deal actually. Yeah. It yeah. It's. Yeah, it's you. I could drop a tie. And just get more stuff on rack, but that seems like a bad idea. Because mm-hmm. right now rack is already eighty nine points. Right. I put more on him. Oh, you killed rack. Well, <laughs> I have four ties to try and do damage to you now. Well, and that's what Mark did to me with the list he gave me when I played the first three rounds of Corona Cup, where he had he put a ninety eight point mall in there, big juicy target. I don't. I didn't even have reinforce. So yeah. it's even scarier. So I I totally get that you your build for rack. It's, it's a like, it's a good list. I've seen other Sloan swarms and they do things like put death troopers on rack and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I'm like, yeah, but then you only have four ties, and also rack right. is now over half your list. I think you know if you keep playing it and remember the ruthless trigger, you'll just do even better. Yeah, I yeah, ruthless. I have ruthless. <laughs> <laughs> Please yes. destroy that oh. tie fighter that's right in front of you that I just ruthless. Please do yeah. that. Yeah, well, that's the big thing is don't ruthless. Ruthless a full health one. Don't ruthless a one health one. Right. Don't give them half. <laughs> right. Um. Well, guys, I want to thank you for you know playing. Thank you for letting us stream this. It was a pleasure and. Uh, just Thanks for being patient with me. Oh, you're Coming fine. Late. You're fine, man. I, I know you got important work to do, and um, and I uh, I just want to congratulate you both on such a great run, Andrew. You you were scaring everybody, uh, just rolling up people. So uh, just congratulations on such a good run. Yeah. Good luck in the finals, Cameron. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for the game. Yeah. Thanks um, for hosting this, Charles, and pass that on to everyone else who's involved. So, oh yeah, yeah, this is awesome. I love I love watching uh the other games we stream, so it's cool to be on the stream myself. Yeah. Well oh, you will be uh next week, I guess. You and Brandon yeah. need to come up with your game and, and we'll do it again if you love it. That's awesome. And um Sure. And uh we're glad we mm-hmm. can do it. I'm glad Gene had the idea of doing an online tournament. So um, I'm glad we did this. So it's been fun. Oh yeah, this this is probably I've tried to play other tabletop games that are more vertical, and this this is just so nice to have mm-hmm. this whole X-Wing Unified thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Kevin, thank you for commentating, man. Oh, absolutely. It was a del- delight. All right. Well, y'all have a good one. Appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for, for commenting. i got to go watch the commentary now. <laughs> It'll be up there in a little bit. Thanks, man. All right. Good night. Y'all have a nice night.